we are having a, a larger body and a smaller body and uh, the smaller body is having a area A1 and the energy falling per unit area of this small body is taken as EB. Energy falling per unit area means this larger body is radiating energy out and that energy is falling on this smaller area and that area if we are having a unit area here then the energy falling on that unit area is taken as EB. Now in Kirchhoff's law we have the ratio of total MC power. MC power is actually the energy that can be radiated by a surface per unit area. So if you are having a surface like this and if it, this is a unit area then the energy that can be radiated out by this unit area is called MC power. That energy to that of absorptivity. Absorptivity you will say because of so MC power to absorptivity that ratio for different material is same that means if you are having a small body say A1 and small body A2 and we are finding E by alpha for both of these objects then they will be same that's all here absorptivity means suppose say that in this material some radiation is falling so a part of this radiation that have fallen on this material will be absorbed by this material so there will be radiation let us say that r is the amount of radiation that is falling on the material and a is the amount that is absorbed by the material then this a by r can be called as alpha or alpha denotes the fraction of the radiation that is absorbed by the given material now for proving that what we are having is so we are having a small material of a1 here and we are saying that the energy falling per unit area is EB then so we have EB that is the energy falling on small body per unit area so total energy that is falling on this small body is EB into A1 so now we have got total energy falling of this falling energy a portion known as alpha will be absorbed so alpha into A1 EB we will get the energy absorbed by this small body now what happens is after absorbing it, uh, uh, this body will be rejecting a part of radiation, uh, rejecting some radiation or uh, energy will be radiated out and we can call the energy radiated out per unit area as E1. So total energy radiated out will be E1 into A1. So if it is under thermal equilibrium, the energy absorbed that is alpha 1 A1 EB will be is equal to energy radiated out that is this E1 A1. So E1 A1 is equal to alpha EB A1. So what happens is this A1 and A1 will cancel and we can take this alpha this side and we can come, come to a conclusion that EB is equal to E1 by alpha. Now suppose say that this material is replaced by another material of say uh, area A2. So we are having an area A2. Then again the energy falling per unit area is EB. So total energy falling on is EB into A2. Now of part of this alpha 2 will be decided alpha 2. Alpha 2 is the fraction by which it absorbs. So alpha 2 into AB2 will get the amount of it absorbed. Now let E2 be the energy that is radiating by this second small body that is the present body A2. Let E2 be the energy radiated per unit area then total energy radiated out is E2 into A2 but we know under thermal equilibrium energy absorbed will be energy radiated out so alpha 2 EB A2 is equal to E2 A2 from which again we will equate A2 and A2 will cancel and they will get EB is equal to E2 by uh, E2 by alpha 2 already we have obtained this one EB is equal to E1 by alpha 1 we have obtained that and now we are obtaining EB equal to E2 by alpha 2. That means E1 by alpha 1 is equal to E2 by alpha 2. And that's what Kirchhoff says. E by alpha is a constant.